Assalamu alaikum guys welcome to our channel chemistry world and I'm Mohaj Khalil today is the topic of our lecture is liquid junction potential this lecture is very special for me today because I want to dedicate it to one of my favorite intellectual professor Dr. Mubin but so watch the video till end and stay tuned to get more videos so guys our topic is liquid junction potential uh, and its determination too first of all we have to discuss uh, to understand the liquid junction potential via explanation and then make a suitable uh, suitable definition from uh, this explanation so that uh, we have to start with the explanation first of all consider we have a cell consisting of two chambers which are separated by a porous membrane which is separated by a porous membrane the chambers uh, are filled with electrolytes of same and different ions for example we have uh, here HCl in the both chamber but the uh, concentration of HCl in the chamber number A in the chamber number A is 0.1 HCl on the other hand the concentration of HCl in chamber number B is 0.01 HCl it means that we have the concentration of HCl uh, in, chamber, uh, in chamber A is high as compared to the concentration of HCl in chamber number B we already know that in a liquid medium the electrolyte is separated in ions so H positive and Cl minus ions we already know that the size of H positive is small as compared to the Cl minus and from the process of diffusion we also know that the movement of ions is from the concentration of uh, from the move uh, from higher concentration to the lower concentration medium so we can show it with a big arrow because of its small size because of the small size of H positive its mobility is faster as compared to Cl minus so it move from chamber A to chamber B from chamber A to chamber B because of the diffusion because here the concentration is very high as compared to the concentration in chamber number B so this H positive move in the chamber number B and we can show it as this is our porous membrane here we have all minus and here we have all positive ions because of the movement of H positive from the chamber number A to chamber number B here we have double charge layer at this junction point and it is termed as liquid junction potential it is termed as liquid junction potential so we can understand with two possibilities that must be present the first one is there must be a difference in concentrations of both the electrolytes in the both chambers if there is no difference in the concentration then there is no liquid junction potential and the second one is there must be a difference there must be a difference in the size of ions means difference in mobilities means difference in mobilities because one ion can move fast from the higher concentration to the lower concentration to make the potential uh, difference at this junction point now we have to make a suitable uh, definition according to this explanation so our uh, definition is when two electrolytic solutions of different concentrations when two electrolytic solutions of different concentrations are brought in contact with each other a potential difference is established and we can also write it here 
when two electrolytic solutions are brought in contact a potential difference is established establish at the junction point this point and this is termed as liquid junction potential but there are two points that must be fulfilled the first one is there must be a difference in concentration of the both electrolytes and the second one is there must be a difference in the size of ions means mobilities the first uh, in our example there is HCl the size of H is small as compared to Cl minus so that's why because of greater mobility H positive move toward the chamber B now how to determine the liquid junction potential now determination of the value of liquid junction potential EJ we can represent it with EJ so in this regards we have HCl in chamber number one we represent it as A1 and HCl in chamber number two we can represent it as A2 there is our first and second chambers so as we already know that the A1 has a greater concentration as compared to A2 so the free energy change for positive cations are the free energy change for the H positive ion is delta G1 is equals to TC RT log A positive over A positive 1 A positive 2 over A positive 1 A positive 2 means the concentration of a positive uh, the concentration of h positive in chamber number two and it is in chamber number one the tc tc means transport number of cations tc means transport number of cations here transport number of cations mean positive h positive ions r is constant here its value is 8.313 8.3143 joules k mole minus 1 t here is temperature at uh, suitable is 25 degree celsius we can also convert it into kelvin here is our natural log and i can explain it already explain it a1 uh, a positive 2 means and a positive 1 means now secondly the free energy change for Cl minus ion. The free energy change for the Cl minus ion. We have to memorize these equations to get the equation for the determination of the value of liquid junction potential. We got this equation from the uh, from comparing the value of uh, free energy with our EMF equation so it is delta G 2 is equals to T A R T natural log A minus because it is CL over A minus here one is in the upper side and two is in the lower because here the concentration of CL minus in the chamber number two is greater as compared to chamber number A. Here again T A is the transport number of N9. Here A is denoted the N9. We can write transport number of N9. R is again constant its value is 8.3143 joules K mole minus 1. T is the temperature again 25 degrees Celsius we have to convert it in Kelvin oh, by adding 273 it is the natural log and I already explained it now net change free energy for example 
net change free energy for example delta g is equals to delta g1 plus delta g2 we have to plus these both equations so here we can write as delta g is equals to t c r t natural log a positive 2 divided by a positive 1 plus t a r t log of natural log a minus 1 over a minus 2 and we can write it as equation number 1 from this equation we can make another equation uh, from the value of, for the value of liquid junction potential which is we can write if ej is liquid junction potential if ej is liquid junction potential then delta g is equals to minus n e j f here f is faraday here f is faraday and one faraday is equals to one faraday is equals to nine six five zero zero coulombs when we compare it with charge so f is faraday here we can uh, write it as equation number two now we can interconvert it as ej is equals to minus delta g divided by f and name as equation number three because n is equals to one so have n is equals to one ej ones are ej so here ej is equals to minus delta g by f now it is the value of ej Now we have to put this equation number 1 in equation number 3. Here ej is equals to minus delta g. So here where we have to put the value of delta g. So by putting equation number 1 in equation number 3, we got here we have to write put equation number 1 in 3. We got here ej is equals to minus tcr t divided by f natural log a positive 2 divided by a positive 1 minus t a r t divided by f natural log a minus 1 divided by natural log a minus 2 if a positive is a and a minus is a then we can write this equation as e j is equals to minus t c r t divided by f natural log a2 divided by a1 if a positive is equal to a then here is a minus t a r t divided by f natural log a1 divided by a2 it is and we can interconvert its equation by changing the positions of nominator and denominator and the sign of minus is changed into positive as ej is equals to minus tc rt divided by f natural log a2 divided by a1 not plus here minus here plus t a r t divided by f natural log a2 divided by a1 where a is mean activity where a is mean activity so we know t a plus t c is equals to 1 we know t a plus here t a plus t c is equals to 1 so t a is equals to 1 minus t c 
it is equation number five and it is our equation number four here we have to put the equation number five into equation number four we get if we put equation five in equation one first we have to write put equation five in four then we get here e j is equals to minus t c r t divided by f natural log a two divided by a one plus here one minus t c uh, t a is equals to one minus t c so we can write in mirror bracket what t minus t c or one minus t c r t divided by f natural log a two divided by a one <clears throat> now further mathematical expressions we get the equation as e j is equals to minus two here t c ones are t c t c t c two t c minus two t c r t divided by f natural log a two divided by a one positive r t divided by f natural log a2 divided by a1 by taking rt by f common we got our final equation for the determination of liquid junction potential which is ej rt divided by f natural log a2 divided by a1 here in bracket we get minus 2 tc plus 1 and it is our final equation when you write these all steps in one forum you get better understand it the whole topic liquid junction potential and its determination if you like that video please share subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon and that's it If you like that video please like share and don't forget to press the bell icon and remember me in your prayers thanks